Advanced Offense We are now going to focus on offense or attack for players who play a lot of mini basketball. Concepts such as getting free from your marker, spreading out an attack, safe passing and moving into an open space for a return pass are all common to team games. The emphasis of mini basketball should be on fundamental skills, not on specific offenses which should be left to the teenage years. It all starts with one-on-one -on -one moves. So, how do you get free from your marker in mini basketball? Here are a couple of ways. Bring your defender down towards the baseline. Change direction and come up for the pass. Bring the defender in towards the key and come out for the pass in a V-cut. Or, fake a move to the sideline and come back to the ball to receive it. Triple Threat On receiving the ball, a player squares up to the basket and has three main options. Shoot Pass or dribble. This is called the triple threat position. Fake and drive. So a player receives the ball and is being closely marked. What are the options for beating the defender and going to the basket? The player can fake and drive. The player receives the ball, fakes a shot or a pass to deceive the defender and drives past for a layup shot. A player can fake with their head, ball or feet. Fake step drive. And then there is a fake step drive where the player steps to the left as though to drive left. When the defender moves to cover, the attacker brings the left foot back and drives to the right, leading with the left foot. We now move on to two on two and the give and go. This is common to all team games. A player passes to one of his teammates, then runs inside or outside his defender to take a return pass. The receiver should get free first. Bet 3 on 3 brings a third player into play. Any of the players can try a 1 on 1. Any two can give and go. Or one player might pass to a player on one side and the third player cuts to the basket, receives a pass, and scores. Here are some activities which focus on practicing offense. One-on-one -on -one games using cones or baskets or combinations. Divide the players into pairs using baskets if there are enough or a combination of baskets and cones. If playing into a basket, try to score. If playing to a cone, try to touch the cone with the ball. Offensive players start about 5 meters from the target in the triple threat position. After a touch from the defender, they try to score using a named move. As the players progress, they can then try a combination. This can progress to 2 on 2, and then 3 on 3. 
Numbers is a great activity for groups of players and limited equipment. Divide the players into groups of 6 or 8. Further divide each group into two teams and assign similar numbers to each team member. For example, 1s, 2s, 3s or 4s. The teams line up about 2 metres from their nearest teammates and about 6 metres from their opposing number. The teacher or selected player rolls a ball between the two lines and calls out a number. The two players with the number run for the ball. The player who gets the ball is the attacker and the other is a defender. Play must start from a triple threat position. The aim of the game is to score a basket or touch a cone using a named or any offensive move. If the attacker comes to a stop and cannot shoot or touch a cone, then they can pass to a teammate, get a return pass and resume play starting in the triple threat position. The first team to reach a stated score wins. This can progress to two on two by calling two numbers and then three on three by calling three numbers. Single line one-on-one -on -one can be great fun. Players line up in straight lines facing a basket on the free throw line. The first player becomes a defender. The second is on offense with the ball in the triple threat position. At a check from the defender, the attacker challenges the defender in a one-on-one -on -one using the moves. If the defender falls back, the attacker can take a shot. After a score or turnover, the defender joins the end of the line and the attacker becomes the defender. Fast break. The formal fast break is really for teenagers and adults. However, the concept of the quick transition from defense to offense is to be encouraged in mini basketball. It is really more of an attitude than the performance of a specific fast break move. Here are two fun fast break activities which are worth trying. The first is three player break. Players line up in three columns behind an end line facing the three lanes, that is left lane, center lane and right lane. The first player in each column steps forward, anyone with the ball. The three pass to one another the three go to the end of the different line in the column facing them. The next three players continue. Here's an activity for a very experienced group of players. It's called the three-man weave. Players line up in three columns behind an end line facing the three lanes, that is the left lane, center lane and right lane like before. The center player has the ball, passes to one of the wings and follows the pass behind the wing. The other wing, meanwhile, runs to the centre and receives a pass. The passer follows the pass and goes behind the receiver. This continues down the court until one player reaches the three-point line and goes for a layup. The activity continues. 